Around this time, every single Thursday, we try and talk to the great Mr. Skin at MrSkin.com. And uh, Skin, I understand last week you uh, you rushed your son into the hospital at the last minute. Is <laughs> is he okay? No, it wasn't. He didn't have to go to the hospital. He just had to go to the doctor. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah. No, he's fine. He's fine. Okay, good. I was very concerned <laughs> for you. No, no. It wasn't that bad. But All right. You. Would, uh, it had nothing to do with an apple pie or anything like that? <laughs> oh, my God. Don't you do. <laughs> That's awesome. No. Yeah, no. God, no. Okay. If I ever walk in on that, I'll uh, be calling you guys. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Skin, what do you got for it? Now, first, hold it. Before we even ask you what's going on with this week's nudity, I have to ask you with the brackets going on. The last time we talked to you, you were kicking off the bracket contest. Do you have any perfect brackets in your nude bracket contest? We don't know because uh, this morning uh, we're going to release the first round and see if oh. anyone's at least perfect through the first round. So, um, I, like I told you guys, I'm I'm hopeful. I I'm not like this isn't coming out of my pocket. The one million dollars. You is, hope someone uh, wins. I got it. insurance. I yes, got insurance. Sure. So if someone wins, that's awesome. I'm happy. Yeah, we were doing the same thing here as well with our uh, perfect bracket challenge. I was just like, God, I hope someone gets it. I would yeah, love to give away a million dollars. Be? And right? Plus, yeah, it'd be so, especially with COVID and everything, if someone won the money, it'd be awesome. So. Absolutely. All right, so what do you got for us this week, Skin? Well, Sharon Stone has a new memoir coming out called The Beauty of Living Twice. So she's been doing a ton of interviews, and, and Vanity Fair had an excerpt from it. And there were a couple of things. And one, one was that she alleged, and I totally believe this, that one of the producers in one of her movies, she didn't say which, discussed the idea of her sleeping with her male co-star to enhance the film they were working on. This is like an old 80s or 90s thing. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Movement where, yeah. Hey, since you're in a movie with a guy, to make it more realistic, why don't you have sex off screen? Because it'll make, it'll make it work better on screen. You know, only in the 80s and 90s would you say that. So, and, and that actually worked? Well, no, she said, screw you, I'm not doing Oh, okay, no, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then she also said this interesting thing. So there's been all these years where she, you've heard where she said in Basic Instinct, the famous leg crossing scene, yeah. uh, where she, Catherine Trammell, who she was playing, she was uncrossing her legs, and she always said that, you know, she didn't know they were going to show that and this and that. Well, she said that the reason that she removed her underwear is they told her that the white was reflecting the light. So, <laughs> and, then, and then after she saw what they filmed, she right. slapped the director and called her lawyer. And, right. But then eventually she just said, you know what, I did it, it's in, and she let it happen. But uh, Paul Verhoeven, the director, denied this, and he said they discussed this in depth of how it was going to work. So, I, I mean, I don't believe you. I mean, come on, Chasta, if you're in a, a scene like that and you're not wearing underwear, you let's uh, hold it. I'll, I'll yeah. put it in yeah. perspective here. If yeah. I said, Chasta, you must remove your underwear when you do traffic reports <laughs> yeah, because right. it's yeah, interfering yeah. with the microphone. <laughs> Yeah, while well, we have a camera at yeah. uh, knee, knee level. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, no I way. don't think that would fly, do you? Come on. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no I mean, how would you do it? Right. Right. So, anyway, um, basic. In I still, to this day, um, now obviously Sharon Stone became a huge star because of that movie. But when you think about it, that was like a blockbuster movie that tons of people went to the theater to see. Where they showed and beef. You I know, and that, and I mean, but it wasn't like it was just the graphicness of it that yes. made it so incredible. So I still, to this day, when people ask me what's my favorite nude scene of all time, I always say, you know, Phoebe Cates and Fast Times right. at Richmond High. But when people ask me what's the most famous nude scene of all time, I really believe Sharon Stone and Basic Instinct is the most famous nude scene ever because it's been parodied a million times. You say the word basic instinct and everyone remembers that scene. It's just, to me, the most famous nude scene of all time. All right. Uh, anything we should uh, look for this week, Skin? Well, we're celebrating a birthday. I was talking to baby uh, Huey off the air, and uh, it's a... Uh, if you guys are ever at a party and someone says, what's the best group shower scene in the history of movies? Yeah. Um, I will always say it's um, 
the movie that celebrated its 39th birthday this week, Porky's from 1982. And uh, it came out 39 years ago this week. And though there were no famous women in the scene um, when the boys are spying on the girls, it is um, it just the greatest, the greatest <laughs> group shower scene in the history of movies. And uh, I'm celebrating its birthday this week with uh, a, a solo shower by myself. This week. So I, I don't take a lot, but yeah, I'm going to celebrate that. So yeah, that's a big deal. That's to us one of the great uh, nude scenes of all time. I'd consider it a top ten nude scene of all time. All right, the great Mr. Skin, Mr. Skin got Mr. Skin dot com. Thank you, Skin. Skin, and you're the best. We will talk to you again next week. You got it. Take care. All right. <laughs> the great Mr. Skin. Yeah, I have a hard time believing. Yep. Yeah, please take off your panties. It's yeah. causing reflection yeah. on the camera. But I love uh, the, uh, the no. skin vision shot of that scene because that scene was uh, pretty much uh, ambiguous for many years and, right. until skin vision came along. Until skin came along.